All right, welcome back everybody. I know it's been a little bit of a while here since I put up a video, um, but the summer is coming to a close and so I'm being, hopefully getting back to the range a little more often. Uh, next up I have the 45 ACP uh, Federal Syntec Defense Round. Uh, I'm not sure this is still manufactured or not. Um, it's, it seems to be kind of hard to find right now. I know the 9mm the nine can still be found, but this 45 uh, is a little difficult. I bought this box and I think a couple more uh, right when Walmart was uh, discontinuing their carrying of, of handgun rounds. I think I paid, I think it was clearance for $7 for this box of 20 Um and uh, I have actually never taken them to the range. I bought them, put them in the safe, and only uh, recently someone asked to see these tested. So I dug it out, and uh, we're going to take it to the range and, and, and give it a go. Um, this is a 205 grain round, which for 45 is kind of middle weight. Um, the typical range is from 185 grains to 230, so this kind of falls right there in the middle. Uh, we have two different um, sidearms to test this with today. Uh, we have the um, Para Warthog which is a uh, compact three inch double stack magazine. Uh, it's actually, it's a 10 plus one. It's a, it's a pretty interesting um, little gun. Um, and then over here I have the Kimber, um, which is a model 1911 with the full size five inch barrel. So we have the three inch barrel and the five inch barrel. We'll test them both through uh, homemade ballistics gel as well as clear ballistics and uh, see whether or not this round performs as in, as is intended, which again, this is very similar to pretty much any other Syntec uh, round, uh, Syntec defense round that is, where this front of the round is supposed to break off into three pieces and separate out in kind of a triangle type pattern to about six inches deep. And then the core is supposed to travel into that uh, FBI um, 12 to 18 inches range is what it's supposed to do. Um, and we are going to test it out and see how it does, so stay tuned for that. Okay, Federal Syntec 45 uh, tested the range. I've got the 3 inch Warthog, the 5 inch Camber. I've got my standard heavy clothing test of one layer of denim, one layer of fleece, two layers of cotton t shirt material. And uh, here we go. Okay, BB gun was 608 feet per second. A little, I guess a little over the um, 590. And I guess maybe a little beyond the standard deviation, but I'm going to call that close enough for my testing. Um, BB is, if you can see that, I line it up. BB is right down in there at, front edge is right at 3 inches in the gel. So uh, a little dense, but we're still going to consider this calibrated and we're going to proceed on with our testing. Seven oh two. Okay, the 45 Syntec out of the 3 inch entered right here. And you can see hopefully the track down there. I'm set up in the shade, so so I can get the chrono readings, but it kind of impacts the image a little bit. Um, but that track is just nothing, right down the middle of the block. Off to the side here. Same thing, you can see it in there. That track just run right through the block. I did not have my barrier up. I apologize, I forgot the stopper. Um, but it came out the back, right down here at the, ba at the back. So this is 20 inches of uh, the homemade ballistics gel and that from the three inch just went straight through so we're going to try from the uh, five inch now eight sixty one eight six one okay that was the syntax that one came in higher than the first one and uh down in there you can see the track and again, it went through the first block, through the second block, looks like some tumbling in here. And it came right out the back, above the other one. This time, I had my barrier up, it hit my barrier, bounced off, and landed right here on the ground. So, hopefully you can see that uh, clogged up with some clothing material, did not break apart. And that was again, oh geez, now I drop it. Um, and that was 20 inches of, of gel. So 
Um, not great on that one. Okay, Federal Syntac from the three inch Warthog uh, went in right here. And as you can see, another nice big straight line through the gel. It's right down, it's right down here. You can see that line. So all the way through, exiting out the back and hit my, it hit the uh, barrier. So the round might be in the barrier. Sometimes it goes in there and I'll dig it out if I can find it later. From the side, again, there's not much to see here. And for those of you that asked for it, I put up a, a black background. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you can get a little bit better picture, but there's not much to see on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and try it now through the five inch. Okay, Federal Syntec Defense 5 inch Kimber shot went in right here. Again, big hole in there because it's a 45 caliber, but did not do anything. Went all the way through. Came out the back right here. Hit knocked my barrier, pushed it back, and there it landed right here on the table. So, and this was again through heavy clothing, one layer of denim, one layer of fleece, layers of cotton t-shirt material from about 10 feet. And uh, there you go. So the two recaptured rounds, um, both through homemade ballistics gel and clear ballistics. And again, just to clarify, this clear ballistics is not quite as long as the homemade gel. My molds for these are not quite as long. So this is actually about, instead of 20 inches, it's about 18 inches long. So again, this clear ballistic is not quite as deep, but again, there was no expansion. If there's going to be expansion on these rounds, it's going to happen in those first couple of inches. So, um, yeah, I mean, you guys who like to see tracks, I'll, I'll show you, but, but there's really nothing to see. Um, they uh, just didn't do anything. So, um, very disappointing with those Syntec defense rounds. I guess I'm glad I didn't buy more of these in 45. Okay, before I move to clear ballistics, I wanted to try that um, Federal Syntec Defense again with the three inch barrel uh, into bear gel. Uh, hit right here, and if you look down, I mean it's a big hole, but 45 makes a big hole. And uh, there's a little bit of wash here at the back end of this because of, I've been testing other rounds in here, but it came into the second one, and it actually... You can't see in the track book in there, but it came out right here on the second round, hit my barrier, and it bounced. Um, I don't see where it landed, but again, it was a full, another full pass through. Again, and this was bear gel, so there's nothing preventing this from, from expanding. So we'll try it in clear ballistics now. Okay, here was the best case scenario in the clear ballistics for the Federal Syntec Defense 45 round. Hit right here. Again, bare gel. Hit right there. This top track here on the left. And, you know, you see it going straight in there. Nothing going on. Now, it gets a little uh, cloudy in the next one because of the other testing I've done. This was just sort of an add-on here at the end. But, as you can see, it came all the way out the back. Came all the way out the back. Again, hit my barrier, knocked it off the table. And lying on the ground right there is that Syntec 45. Again, no expansion, clogged up the hole. Uh, Syntec Defense. Uh, you know, and as far as my, these rounds go, um, you know, people may be like, well, you store them improperly. Well, I keep them in, uh, in inside the house, in ammo cans, with desiccant. 
Um, and, and it's I run a dehumidifier in the summertime, so the humidity is kept at about 55 degree, 55 percent in the house or less. Um, so uh, again, these rounds, there, there there should be nothing wrong with these rounds, but yeah, so far none of them have uh, performed. None of these Syntex have performed for me. So we'll talk more at home. Seven sixty one. 750 870 922 905 <clears throat> Welcome back from the range. Um as you saw, this was the Federal Syntec Defense in 45 ACP, 205 grains. Um, overall, not a solid performance today at all. Um, none of the rounds um, expanded or separated as they're supposed to do. Uh, they all pass through, whether it be through the 20 inches of uh, calibrated homemade ballistics gel or the 18 inches of clear ballistics, um, whether it be from the three inch, um, or the five inch barrel, none of them expanded. They all, like I said, went straight through. Um, I'll throw the weights up here and weigh them up. Uh, we're not going to measure any expansion cause there, there really was no expansion. I did get pick up a new scale. So we can be a little more accurate here. Uh, 204.6 for this one, 204.6 for that one. 204.6 for this one, and 204.6 for that one. So, um, pretty good quality control there for Federal, getting them all the same exact weight, but uh, again, they just did not perform. Um, from the 3-inch barrel, um, just we'll, we'll throw up the energy computations here for you on the screen. Um, I had a 5-shot average of 736 feet per second, and there was a 59 foot per second spread between high and low. The average energy from the three inch barrel was 247 foot pounds. Out of the five inch barrel, I got a six round average of 881 feet per second. Also a 61 foot uh, per second spread on that one. And the average uh, was 353 foot pounds of energy. Sorry, 353. My handwriting here on my notes is not the best today. Um, so again, Overall, um, you know, pretty subpar. This was my first uh, test with the 45 at the range, um, but uh, overall, um, I was very disappointed. I've seen, you know, much better results out of 9mm, 40 cal, and, and even uh, 380. I was much more impressed with than these, this particular round. So, um, take it for what it is. Um, not really much more to discuss other than um, I guess I can see maybe why they don't make them anymore if they because uh, i don't think they do so uh, again i wasn't impressed um but go ahead and leave a comment share like etc and uh stay tuned for the next one